For the spotted tree frog, it wasn't only the fire that, that's burnt the bush leading into the streams, but then the post-fire rain that followed and the flooding washes the ash and the sediment and silt down into the rivers, um, which chokes them out. And it also prevents decent breeding from happening because the, the tadpoles and eggs aren't able to survive in those sort of conditions. Short-term goals is to uh, just get the population going. We've managed to collect a small number of frogs uh, this season and then over the coming few years we'll add to that. So it'll be to rear the frogs through to breeding age and those adults that we have collected uh, will begin to start breeding them next season. It's incredible to have these animals come in to start as new founders that will establish a conservation breeding program. Importantly with this project now though, we've had the support and partnership with the Victorian angling community as well. So they've been on board to help us uh, along this journey and also help us find safe havens that we'll hopefully be able to release these frogs back into. 